In today's video, I'm going to talk about the best early Black Friday deals for pre-built gaming PCs. Now, I'm going to be updating y'all with new Black Friday deals that are going to come up in the future, but you have to keep in mind that these deals that I'm about to show you are the final price and the final discount for this Black Friday. So with that being said, you're not going to be able to find a better price for these exact pre-built PCs in the future. But there are maybe going to be another deals with other pre-built PCs and that's what I'm going to be updating you with. With that being said, let's start with the top. With the first PC, we have one of the best budget-friendly PCs out there and of course it's going to be from HP. This company has been doing a great job with budget probably PCs and that's why I recommend it so much. But the first PC we're talking about is the Pavilion 2170M. This one is $550, so it's pretty cheap considering the price for gaming PCs nowadays. This one has the AMD Ryzen 3 5300G with the RX 5500 for the GPU, 8GB of RAM on dual channel and 256GB of SSD. Now, now, if you have $550 and you can't upgrade it because you don't have the money to and you won't be able to save some money in the future, don't worry about it, just buy it like this. But if you can do some upgrades, I would upgrade the GPU to the GTX 1650 Super just for a $20 difference and then I would upgrade the secondary storage with 1TB of hard drive if you can't afford the primary storage with 1TB of SSD which is going to be about a $90 difference. So if you can do the upgrades, I would go with the GTX 1650 Super, 1TB of SSD and 16 gigs of RAM, you can do it from the customize and buy option. But if you can't afford it, don't worry about it, you can do this upgrade later on. With the next PC, like I said before, is another HP Pavilion and this one is the one that I have and I have a whole review about it that you can check out by clicking in the top right of the screen. So if you're planning on buying one of these PCs and you have a lot of questions, just go to that video and if you have even more questions, let me know in the comment section and I will reply as fast as possible. This PC has the GTX 1650 Super, the i5 11 400 8 gigs of RAM on dual channel as well, 256 gigs of SSD coming at $700. And let me tell you that this is a great deal for the i5 11400 and the GTX 1650 Super combination. And you have to keep in mind that the GTX 1650 Super only, it's around $500 on average in Amazon, so you're having already a gaming PC that has the case, power supply, motherboard, a great CPU, the i5 11400, let me tell you that it's a great CPU for gaming, 8 gigs of RAM on dual channel, 256 gigs of SSD, everything at $200. So I think that the value for this PC is actually great and the price performance is one of the best if not the best out there on the market. And considering that you're saving $100 right now and you're getting it for $700 is actually a great deal. And if I have to upgrade anything, it's going to be the storage with 1TB of hard drive over SSD. And if you can do it, of course, upgrade the RAM to have better performance in high demanding RAM games like Fortnite. But like I said before, if you can't do it right now, don't worry because these upgrades are easy to do and you can do this in a future where you get more money. The next gaming PC is Amazon's Choice Cyber Power Extreme VR Gaming PC and this one has the i5 11400F which is a great budget CPU, 8 gigs of RAM, this one is on single channel and that's the only downside for this PC and that's why I recommend you upgrading it with another stick of 8 gigs and you're going to notice a big difference from one stick to two sticks and also more RAM. For the GPU we get the RTX 2060 and I haven't seen a gaming PC below 1030 bucks that has the RTX 2060 and that is something great. It's a GPU that is slightly better than the 1660 Ti but you get an entry level of ray tracing which you don't get on the GTX GPUs. You also get 500 gigs of SSD which you can upgrade if it's not enough for you but 500 gigs of SSD is not terrible and it might be enough depending on the games you play. You also get Windows 11 Home and you also get a mouse and a keyboard and that's a nice detail to have if you don't have a mouse and a keyboard and you're waiting to buy one. So $1030 for a gaming PC that will deliver excellent excellent performance at 1080p, I think it's really good for the money that you're paying and consider that you will be able to play every single game 1080p 60fps average and for competitive games like Fortnite, Valorant and CSGO, you will be able to run these competitive games at above 240fps on average in competitive settings. With that in mind, I think this one is a great deal, it's not a Black Friday deal actually, but I had to put it right here because for the price that you're paying you're getting a great PC. With the next PC we have this Kitech Blaze 3.0 gaming PC, this one has the i5 10400F which is a little bit worse than the i5 11400F but here you get the RX 6600 XT, 1TB of SSD, 16 gigs of RAM on dual channel at 3200MHz which is more than enough. Now here you save an extra 100 bucks if you apply a coupon just by clicking on the box. So the total price for this PC is going to be $1200 and you get a GPU that is slightly better than the RTX 3060 and is way better than the RTX 2060 like the Cyberpower one and you get more RAM. So I think the extra 170 
magic bucks that you're paying on this one over the cyber power one is worth it because you get more storage, more RAM, and the most important thing, a way better GPU. If you want to start playing at 1440p, 60fps average is going to be enough. If you want to play the higher end games at 1440p, you will be able to run them at above 60fps average as well, of course depending on the settings, but it's going to be enough, so I think this PC is great for the value. The next PC we have the ABS Master Gaming PC with the i5 11400F, the RTX 3060 Ti which is better than the RX 6600 XT, 16 gigs of RAM and 1 terabyte of SSD. This gaming PC was $1700 but you can get it right now because of the Black Friday deal at $1500 so you save 200 bucks for a gaming PC that will deliver once again excellent performance at 1080p but if you're going to buy this PC you should at least have a 144Hz 1080p monitor to get full advantage of this computer because if you have a 1080p 60Hz monitor is not going to be worth it for you. You can just go with the first one HP Pavilion and it's going to be more than enough for a 60Hz monitor so I recommend you buying this PC if you have at least a 1080p 144Hz monitor, maybe a 240Hz monitor or maybe even a 1440p 60 or 144Hz one. With that being said, if you have the money to buy this PC, it's actually a great option. For the next PC we have the Asus ROG Strix GA15DK. This Black Friday deal is actually not great because you only save $50 but you save $50 on a gaming PC that has the AMD Ryzen 7 5800X, the RTX 3070 which is slightly better than the 3060Ti but here you get a way better CPU, the Ryzen 7 5800X so you get a way better performance for multitasking, streaming, editing and for high demanding CPU games like CSGO over the i5 11400F of the other PC and you get as well a better GPU, 16 gigs of RAM and 1 terabyte of SSD. I think this is a great deal but you should wait until the last one which is the next one which is this Kitech Kronos gaming PC desktop where you save a hundred bucks so it's only a $50 difference with the Asus one but you get a way better case with better airflow and you get a liquid cooled CPU so the temperatures overall for this gaming PC are going to be much better than the Asus one just for a $50 difference. Also the i7 11700F and the Ryzen 5 5800X are really similar and you're not going to notice any differences for gaming. So I think it's worth the upgrade just for a $50 difference you get a better CPU cooler, a better airflow overall. So yeah that is my honest opinion and my conclusion. If you have the money to buy this gaming PC you are not going to regret it you will be able to run games at 1440p and even 4K 60fps average in most of the games. Of course not in Fly Simulator 2020 but that's a game that you're not going to be able to run at 60fps average 4K ultra settings even with the 3080. With that being said that was my whole list. If you found it helpful please hit the like and subscribe and most importantly hit the bell button so you get notified when I upload this type of content which I do from 3 to 5 times a week. In the description you will have all of these PCs but you will have more PCs for different budgets in case your budget is not on this list. And if you have any questions, leave it in the comment section and I will reply as fast as possible. Thank you guys for watching, thank you for the support and I will see you on the next one.